Hey guys, today we are going to talk about App Magic the Gathering Online treasure chest. Um, the treasure chest concept is not anything new for digital cards, but it has finally come across on Magic. Now, a treasure chest is very similar to what it it's kind of like a booster pack, but not as good. And Overall, it's not been met with wide acceptance and they actually had to, this is their YouTube. So if you go on their YouTube channel, you can click on the link and watch more about what it is. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Uh, essentially, they had to block their comments because their comments were very, very negative. And they, they had to disable the comments for the video. Overall, the Magic players, at least on YouTube, don't seem to like the concept of a treasure chest, which actuality is like a lesser booster pack. Now, it, depending on how these treasure chests are given out and uh, what you know the concept, what the point of them is, they can either devalue some cards quite a bit or not impact cards at all. So the treasure chest has a mythic or a rare uh, kind of at random and there is something called a curated list which is the more valuable ones from what I've seen and you can get cards from there. So uh, below is the list. You can go on the website, check it out. All treasure chests will contain one of the following, a curated card, a modern set rare or mythic rare, or a number of play points. Most treasure chests will additionally contain two standard set commons or uncommons, but they may be replaced as follows. One in 4.5 treasure chests will have one of the standard legal commons or uncommons replaced by a curated card or a modern set rare or mythic, totally random, could be anything. And one in 239 treasure chests will have both of them replaced by a curated card or a modern set rare or mythic. So you could get a triple rare slash mythic slash curated chest. Now, standard set commons and uncommons will appear as those as from those sets. Each common will appear 2.5 times as much as a uncommon and the cards are non-premium. So they may be redeemable and you can definitely sell them to a bot. Now, as to why they made this choice and if it's good for the ecosystem of Magic the Gathering Online, initially I would say no. Uh, it just seems like another way to get people to spend more money, which you know is the goal. But we will see. I mean, obviously, other online games, most notably uh, Hearthstone and that other game with the little guys and they battle to take over the castle. I battle of the clans they use chess so we will see whether or not this is a good concept moving forward for wizard of the coast anyway leave me a comment below what you think about it uh, do you love it do you like it do you hate it uh, the general consensus is it's kind of ridiculous to have a to have the booster pack system and then also have an additional chess system which has yet to be defined as how you uh, get them. I mean, there's accomplishments, correct. But what are those accomplishments going to be?